everyone and welcome back. It's finally time to tell you or reveal my big secret. I just didn't want to tell anyone because I wanted it to be more safe to tell or how should I phrase this? I'm pregnant and I'm going to have a child. I'm... Um, when I'm recording this I'm... well I've been through half of the pregnancy so... <laughs> four and a half month, 19 weeks. I'm not sure when to upload this, so I have no idea how far along I will be when you actually see this video. Let's say I'm, I'm ridiculously happy and I'm going to, to do this alone. I don't have a partner, I'm single and um, I actually thought something was wrong with me. I thought I couldn't get pregnant and I actually contacted the, um, the hospital and the clinic. Yeah, I don't know how to say it because in Sweden you have... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we have free uh, healthcare. So I contacted them and I um, asked if I if they could do... Um, if they could check what's wrong with me because I couldn't get pregnant. And in the same process, or when I just lifted this to the surface, I realized I was eating like a horse, and I felt swollen and just big, and I couldn't stop. I started to jump, uh, jump rope like crazy every single day. I started to count my calories and everything. And I just got... I just felt bigger. So I thought because of my new diet and everything and I started to, to exercise more, uh, it, it, it was the reason... I thought it, it could be the reason why my period didn't come. But yeah, when I actually started to think about everything, I realized, well, oh, I have to take a pregnancy test. So I went to the pharmacy and bought one, went home, took it, and yeah, I was pregnant. I thought this was something... I I thought I was dreaming, like, it's something wrong with this test. So I, ha I had to retake it or take one more. Uh, still positive, so I called my mother and I'm like, well, you're going to be a grandmother, okay? I'm going to have a child. And she was like really happy just as me so i have my mother's support and my sibling support of course and some parts of the uh, my relatives not a lot of them i don't have contact with all, all of them um mostly not um because i i don't have contact with one part of the family for yeah many reasons and so I don't have a big huge family you know like in movies and stuff no that's not me but I really want to have a family like that so now I can fi finally start my own family and I know that I can actually conceive I can get pregnant that's a huge that makes me so happy deeply and yeah i didn't know this was going to happen but it did and i'm seriously oh really happy i'm going to show you a picture of my ultrasound my first ultrasound here uh, so this is my little baby <laughs> and i well all they've seen this far looks good so we'll hope it will continue that way. At first, I didn't want to tell everyone. I like wanted to have the baby first, so I know it's healthy and I want miscarriage and stuff. I have a job that includes heavy lifting, so um, after a while, it it was a pain in the ass, seriously, and it has some um, the sound in the factory or yeah, in the factory is too high so when i'm in a certain week in the pregnancy the baby can actually take damage from the high sounds <laughs> so i 
yeah, it came to a point I had to talk to my boss and I told him and I started to tell my work um, colleagues and of course my family knew and I actually shared the big news on my Facebook and my Instagram so some of you may have already seen this but I have kept it uh, a secret here on my channel but now it's out there I had a uh, ultrasound number two for like a week ago but the the baby was actually in the wrong position so they couldn't um, see everything that uh, they wanted to see like the heart the face and the gender so i'm going to go back in a couple of days and do a third third ultrasound and hopefully they can see everything uh, on that ultrasound apparently you can go on walks and you can eat stuff and try to make the baby move but if the baby is too comfortable in the position it's just well it's better to come back another day so that's what we did i was there for one and a half hour taking walks and stuff it didn't help so we we booked a new appointment so hopefully i will know the gender in a couple of days i really really want to know it makes it much easier to decorate the the room for the child for the baby uh, i actually started to fix it um, it's my old uh, office so i'm making that like a nursery room do you say that i think you do i take one day at a time i need obviously need an income so i have to work as far as i can um then of course i will go on maternity leave and i will get paid or i will get some taxes back if you see it that way so i'm not sure about names yet i have a lot of names in storage and <laughs> I'm not sure about anything. Um, this wasn't really something I was planning on. Uh, it just happened. And of course, I'm happy it did. I'm getting older, my God. So, you know, we girls, we have a, we have a clock. So uh, we can't wait, like forever, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. So this far I've been feeling really good, but I have some issues going on the toilet doing number two. Um, I like today was the first time in a week. I have so much pain in my stomach all the time. Sometimes it feels like you're going to die. It's terrible. I hate it. And I have a runny nose. I have had it for four months. So that's a pain in the ass as well uh, i have some trouble when i'm sleeping you know finding the right position sometimes it feels like some nerves are like in the way of the child so yeah it it feels and i actually think i felt the first kick the other day it feels like a pulse or something flippering or something it's a weird feeling okay really 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 weird other than that i well of course i had some mood swings i've been a, a bitch kind of and a low temper i can't really argue with people it just drives me crazy i haven't really been uh, feeling morning sickness i found out that i have to eat something like immediately when i've been uh, uh, when i go up in the morning and if i do that i i don't feel sick so that helps a lot i feel like that's everything that i've been feeling so i'm i think i'm pretty lucky and of course i have some pain in my back and stuff but I also do a lot of heavy lifting, so I, well, it's my own fault, I feel like. And I, maybe I should do something else. That's the way it is right now. So this is a very short video. If you have questions, we can do a Q&A or something. Just write them down below in the comment section. Um, 
I just want to tell you so you know why I've been distanced for a while because I mean I've been really really tired and it took so much energy to even record this today I've been pushing it away and I've been you know avoiding it the whole day now finally I have to do it because I feel anxiety when I don't I, I don't know okay <laughs> you need to know why I I'm not uploading as frequently as I usually do okay so this is the reason I'm pregnant and I'm feeling shitty some days and tired and I have stomach and back pains and <sighs> just a lot going on but I want to get back on the horse hopefully this will be a turn for me and yeah if you want to see any kind of baby videos or anything just tell me because I want to make them I know I know <laughs> well that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, turn the notifications on so you don't miss my future videos. And I see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.